I just, we've, we've had a wonderful uh, couple of hours here, and I'd like to, in addition to having had the presentation of the plaque, we have a couple of other uh, small mementos here that I'd like to present you at this time. Well, thank you very and much. I'll ask uh, Jim Gibbons to come over. Okay. This is, uh, as you can see, a replica of our administration building, yes. the Golden Dome. And we'd like to uh, give this to you at this time, and I hope you will keep it. Well, thank you. I will not only keep it, I will treasure it. Thank you very much. And this is not uh, available just anywhere. <laughs> we don't even carry it in the Notre Dame bookstore. <laughs> On the number one, that seems appropriate. <laughs> And the Gipper. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much for all of this. And of course, the day itself has been a red letter day that I've been looking forward to for a long time. I was just saying in the other room to, to some of your people there that football was always a major part of my life. And uh, and I wound up sports announcing, and as I said in my remarks, and, uh, once I became the sports announcer at the station and there was an open date, I found that I was the one that could tell them the game we ought to cover. <laughs> and so uh, I would, every season, manage to get to <laughs> South Bend almost and do a Notre Dame game or two. And uh, so all the legends and everything and some of the things that I mentioned there in the in my remarks were all all true and as I say to the younger people here if only you could understand what a national figure rock was and how many millions of people just identified with him and today they could tell you where they were the day they learned the news of the terrible tragedy as I could. I was in a fraternity house at Eureka College over in Illinois and uh, heard it and it was, it was a great tragedy for all, but uh, it just, it was something, a, a legend that I think planted football so firmly and Rock, many times the things that have never been told about him, Rock believed that football was a really typical American sport and something that was peculiar to us in the whole action and everything of the game and that uh, you got more than just a game out of it by, by playing it. I know I should stand here and get talking to you uh, uh, again. You've heard me long enough for today, but uh, if someone had one question or so that has been bothering them, they've just said to themselves, if I ever had a chance to ask you, <laughs> Fire away, and I might try to answer. <laughs> yeah, you know, but I want to tell you my few remarks in there about getting to play the part of the Gipper was quite an experience there under contract to the studio and all. And as I did say in, in there, I had made a mistake. I just thought as long as I was under contract to the studio and had this good idea of what should be a picture that I ought to get it down on paper and I asked people for help and questions and so forth and as I say all of a sudden found out it was a good idea when I read it in the papers that Warner Brothers were going to make the picture and uh, when I announced what all I had ever wanted was to play the Gipper and incidentally I learned a great many stories about the Gipper <laughs> <laughs> and things that he did and some of them are probably not epic and <laughs> and it shouldn't be told, but uh, he always he always came through. And uh, that that first scene of becoming acquainted with uh, Rock that was the uh, that was the scene that they used for the screen test. And Pat O'Brien uh, very graciously usually stars didn't participate in screen tests. Uh, they let somebody else just do that, read the lines with you, but. He did the script with me, knowing how much I felt about that. And uh, I, he, I was told then uh, a true story of when, what happened then, you know, was that the Gipper did take the ball 
and ran about 65 yards for a touchdown through the varsity, playing for the scrubs. And the players up there in the line that were supposed to be the Notre Dame first and second team were a whole bunch of football players from USC and UCLA. <laughs> and uh, I was an actor in their eyes. And so when I went into the line, the call for me is faking out here a little bit, cutting back in through the line and then reversing the field. And as I got to the line, suddenly I'm flat on my face. <laughs> <laughs> and someone didn't tackle me, knew he couldn't get away with that. But boom, you know, like on an ankle and so forth, and down I went. Well, I came back and I lined up again, thinking it was an accident, and the same thing happened, down again. Now the director begins scolding me about, can I stay on my feet? <laughs> the bit player who's playing an assistant coach back there where I was, was the great Jim Thorpe. And uh, as I came back again, and now I'm boiling, <laughs> and he says, uh, it looks like some of the boys are having a little fun. And I was boiling mad, and I said, yes, and I'm going to have a little fun. And they snapped the ball, and I went out, and I had picked the man that was doing it. And I didn't attempt to go past him at all. I just ran over him. <laughs> <laughs> when I came back, old Jim said, you look like old Jim there. <laughs> <laughs> but also that I was told a Rockney thing, that when that actually happened, in the, the true Gip story, his first time and running the ball through the varsity. And he came back and put the ball and handed the ball to Rockney and he said, I guess the boys are just tired. <laughs> <laughs> well, I won't bore you with any more of it, but it's Thank nice you, to see you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. 